Of course, with the old pink Flamingo Bar and Grill being demolished after that fire that occurred on Monday, Buffalo has had an awful lot of history go up in flames in just one week. Channel 2's Rob Hackford has more on how much this may impact our community. Rob? Yeah, Scott Mary Ellis, preservation groups are speaking out because they're worried that Buffalo could lose its two oldest buildings on the waterfront. This basically served um, our waterfront industry. Paul McDonald, president of the Campaign for Greater Buffalo, has been part of efforts to save the recently fire-damaged cobblestone buildings for over a decade because of their historical significance during the era of the Erie Canal. This was a blacksmith shop. The buildings, he says, were part of Buffalo's boom and later housed a bakery that supplied bread to Union soldiers. They are now the last two pre-Civil War buildings that once dominated the waterfront. This whole area was littered with uh, with buildings that basically support the shipping industry here in Buffalo. Boilers, uh, metallurgists. McDonald says the campaign for Greater Buffalo sued the owner in 2011, trying to stop early neglect. He says the fire is part of a pattern of problems through the years and why preservationists are now doubling down. Buffalo's quote unquote renaissance has happened because of our historic architecture. There's not a lot of new construction in Buffalo, but there is a lot of historic rehab. Gwen Howard is chair of the Buffalo Preservation Board. We've been spending millions and millions and millions of dollars to recreate the cobblestone district with new buildings to replace what has been lost. But here we have the final remaining buildings, the only ones from that period. Everything is stable underneath that. McDonald again from the Campaign for Greater Buffalo believes the building can be saved, but says it might take a new owner and developer to do it. This building is salvageable. Although there is fire damage, if you look at the walls, the walls are true. Select demolition, saving the existing brick, can bring this building back, and we've seen it happen. Yeah, preservation groups are celebrating the city's decision to uh, not go with emergency demolition. They're uh, looking forward to having that additional time to assess the building, weigh in and give their advice as well as they look to make this building a permanent part of Buffalo's waterfront. Reporting live and on your side along South Park Avenue, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News. All right, Rob, thank you. Be sure.